Girls of Reddit, what's the female equivalent of trying to hide a boner? Back in the days of bulky menstrual pads it was horrible when you didn't anchor it down quite right and suddenly you had a pad wedgie. Front or back? Both were a proper chore to adjust in the wild. As a breastfeeding mother when my husband gets me excited my boobs leak. Getting your period when you're not expecting or springing a leak. No one wants that stain on the back of their pants for everyone to see. Having to wear an audible feminine hygiene product. Some honestly sound like you're wearing a plastic bag in your underwear, but if you get caught out sometimes you're reduced to wearing one. You spend the rest of the day trying to move as carefully as possible so not to make too much noise. One that I found out recently. When you're breastfeeding, you go out for whatever reason and then you leak through your bra and through your shirt and you just have giant wet patches on your chest. It's horrifying. You know when your boyfriend keeps taking his penis all the way out of you and putting it back in and shoving a whole bunch of air inside of you. And then you try to avoid queefing, but you really can't because queefs don't work that way. Getting underwear stuck up your crack or bag and having to do a sort of wiggle to get it loose. Trying to hide erect nipples, it's not necessarily cold outside or in a situation where I'm turned on, they just do it. Also, sometimes you just get really wet down there, fabrics that show up sweat patches also show up other wet patches, they are also in the places you can't always see. Trying not to sound crunchy when wearing a pad. Putting a jacket around your waist at school because you're self-conscious that there is blood on your pants during the time of the month. Trying to fix a pad that's shifted and gone up your arse a bit. Or really awkward shift of a pad and the sticky bit catches some pubes. Wearing a baggy hoodie to hide you aren't wearing a bra slash bra doesn't support enough. Hiding a period stain or hiding the pain on you are face from period cramp when you are in public. The awkward moment when you're talking to someone and feel your period start, or just random sudden flow during. Bonus, one time while I was talking to my boss, the front clip on my cheap bra actually just randomly snapped. My girlfriend answered this, your cooch starts pulsing like a heartbeat and is very distracting. I don't know if everyone experiences this or not, but every so often I get this intense tingle slash itch sent to my clit. And when it happens in public it is excruciating not to be able to adjust it or make it go away. Normally only lasts a bt a minute, but oh my god. Crossing your legs very tightly. Feeling an alarming dampness in your underwear during your period and realizing that you've probably completely filled your pad, followed by the fear of your pants being stained. Trying to adjust the underwire in your bra subtly without looking like you're fondling yourself. How about the condensation on a chair after standing up? That strip of moisture that has accumulated due to the moist environment between your legs? I know it's from that and is normal, but it always trips me up. I just don't like it lol also, do guys do this? Edit, wow. Thank you fellow Redditors for the awards. I was unaware so many people had the same issue and that so many people struggled with this alongside me. Y'all are the bee's knees. Thank you again. Definitely agree with the period stain but I am here for some advice. I f work with kids with severe special needs and so I am very familiar with unwanted boners. We obviously recognize that it's a natural occurrence but also not something we want our students to be laughed at for or occasionally they will try to start other actions to fix it. Our solution is to have the kids wash their hands with cold water up to the elbow it makes it disappear right away 90% of the time. Edit, wow guys thank you for the love and my first gold. Hiding normal discharge wet spots. I dunno if it's just me but mid cycle I cannot keep my underwear dry to save my life. Add yoga pants to the mix and voila looks like you pissed yourself a little. The real answer to this question is realizing out of the blue that you might leave a blood stain on whatever surface you're sitting on and shifting around uncomfortably to prevent direct contact. The fear of damaging another person's property is considerably more potent than shame. When you are on your period and feel a giant blob of dark blood egress, and you hope it absorbed into the pad and not stain your clothes. 
Trying to extract a hair from between your boobs when you don't actually know where it is will probably be the equivalent to adjusting your dick I guess. I think for me it's breathing heavy lol. When I get turned on I have to try really hard to keep my breath calm. I swear I have like an aroused energy that radiates too, and that just makes it worse. Knowing your nipples are poking out so you hunch or cross your arms. Period time. When pants are too tight and your muffin shows. When you are wearing a sports bra and your nipples go total freeze. Sometimes my nipples decide they'd like to let the world know they exist. And I just can't hide them. They'll be noticeable through padded bras and pullovers. No I have small nipples and no effing clue why they do this. It's not related to my cycle, nor to temperature. They just have bold days. Wearing a bra that's thinner than you thought and having your nipples stick out. I've held a book or a file up to my chest like an anime school girl clutching a love note. When it's 2 a.m. or you're in a public bathroom and you're trying to soundlessly open a pad. Trying to sneak a pad or tampon into the restroom without people noticing especially if it is in your locker or bag. Edit, thank you for the upvotes kind peoples. Never gotten more than three or four. Trying to read as many comments as possible. Red heart red heart red heart red heart.